Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we just came to the Corded Highlands. We explored the Heaven Outlook and went through Wayward Cave, with Ingo guiding us to Lady to Sneasler, who can supposedly help us reach Lord Electrode somewhere here. Of course, Lord Electro's warden thinks that the frenzies are a good thing, and so he's deliberately trying to hinder us. Anyway, let's continue our journey up the mountain. And see what Pokemon we can find on the way. After all, we might as well do some surveying. Evie, give me that, uh, piece of wood. Evie in the sides. Evie knocked down this tree. Uh, is there a wisp here? No, but I want to say there's one on that little island. Survey says yes. Sixteen wisps remaining. Someone wants us dead. Aim, you're probably a little too far away. Aim, pro, back strike. Ah. Energy ball. Break you. Parasect wants to kill us. Raging Fury. Out to go get the item. Oh, it's starting to rain. Hit Stantler in the face. Let's do a sneak up. Back strike you. Another backstrike. They both broke out. Ooh, that's an Alpha Mothman. I forgot uh, there was a place Alpha Mothman there. Really, Golbat? Really, Golbat? You're not gonna get captured, then let's bury you under a pile of rocks. You know what? I just sort of I thought of something. And I'm an idiot for not doing this. I should have gone to the recipe shop and see if I could bought the recipe for PP ups. I think I could have done that. How on earth do you see me? I forget if we get a free heal coming up soon. Always try to capture an alpha, because they're good for dex completion and good for the wallet. Really? How did you see me from that far away? They're burned to death. Ooh, 
Ooh, I see shiny deposit. Backstrike Golbat in its wing. Okay. Damn. But droplet ball, it's a little early. Oh, I just realized I never. I forgot to put the little shiny Lux Ray back in my team. I'll do that <laughs> next time we reach a camp. Unleash your psychic powers. We have Ingo here and looks and look who's here to block us. What's the big idea of putting all those torches I spent ages tying away? Do you get some sort of, in, of amusement on stopping around and ruining other people's noble deeds? Oh, I rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside it hardly seems noble to me. Hmm. Well, just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguishes those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts, louts, is that an actual word? have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you slander under a head to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed, Donnie? I'll beat him. Go, Skunk Tank! Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. So Warden uh, Melly will send out a Skunk Tank, level 40. A Poison Dark type with the moves Poison Jab, Night Slash, and Flamethrower. Let's have Rosa take care of the Skunk Tank. Fixated on Fiery Fury. If it wasn't raining, Fiery Fury could have possibly taken out Skunk Tank. Let's bury it under some rock. Battle decided. Listen here, neither I nor Skunk Tank will admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. And I can see a wisp from here, although I don't think I can get that yet. However, I will withdraw to, aff to, allow to afford Skunk Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advantage if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melee's intentions. But for now, let us press onward. So you can see why a lot of people hate uh, Warden uh, Melee. He is not a like character, and yeah, there's no way I can get that currently. I need the Pokemon in this area if I want to get that Wisp. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple on top of this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about the memory loss of yours. Have you considered it could somehow be caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is the blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. 
I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Donnie. I think if it it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warningo. How about you then, Donnie? Do you remember what uh, you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Maybe something. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect uh, whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us all that plagues us. That makes sense. Indeed. I did some digging and found records indicating that the same space-time rift also appeared in Hasui in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it, as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out from the other side of the rift? My guess is that it's uh, that is the almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then again, that begs the question. Why has the space-time rift reopened when it was closed once so long ago? And why would Donnie have fallen on through ooh, to us? There's just so much we don't know. I feveredly hope you would unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while your investigation... Asian, sir, I will continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I'm, uh, I am a mere admirer of the ruins, a little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Donnie. Until next time, then. Once we are through here, we're just a little further. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Yeah, and Warden Ningo said that uh, we would save from the gazes of Pokemon in here. <laughs> Yet there are Pokemon inside of here, uh, Ingo. I don't know if you failed to notice that. Do, 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 hit you. Okay, so there's a wisp up there, but we currently do not have the skill set to go get it. Uh, let's throw a wing ball at it because it seems to be really alert. Got us a bronzor. Let me recall without being spotted. Nice. Oh god! Oh, nope, they can apparently see me behind the rocks. But you're stunned. Gigaton! Oh, come on! Nope, you're not gonna get stunned by that, so let's hit you in the back. Uh, let me see. Yeah, let's do Agile Play Rough. Oh, that did significantly less damage than I thought. Go Ultra Balls! Do do do! We got ourselves Bronzor! Sometimes you've seen it use Agile! Oh, 
we have left the tunnel. I can see another wisp there, but again, it's in an area I cannot reach. In the back. Some nice berries. You with an ultra ball. Let's sneak up on these bears. Ooh, Eevee can evolve. I think it's still considered nighttime. First, let me check your moves. You don't have a fair. Okay, I want to remove baby doll eyes. Place it with calm mind. And evolve our Eevee. That looks sick in the evolution. Catch you when you're resting. Something wants me dead, apparently. I don't know what aggro I triggered. Okay, the Luxray saw me. That actually makes sense, because Luxrays actually have good line of sight. Beep, boo, Go. You do. This luxury is going to be annoying. Oh, come on. You're low health. And you just killed yourself. Way to go, Luxray. Actually, I want to bring out Ursa Luna because I think there's a <coughs> first somewhere here. Jesus Christ. Ursa Luna detects an item. We'll be with you in a minute. Smelling this item, Ursaluna. It's up on the cliff where I can't get it, but I can't go get it. Ah, you're part of the galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you were planning to set you were all planning to set up a camp. But it seems not much progress has been made since Bronzor has been getting in the way. It's not odd belligerent, but it seems it likes it wants something, so we can't just ignore it either. Please, do you think you can find out what odd Bronzor wants? Well, let's see what Bronzor wants so we can set up a camp. Oh, looks like it has a buddy over there. Let's go check it out. So I want to quickly come over here with Ursaluna because I thought there was something diggable over here, or at least a uh, wisp. Let's 
starting to rain. You want to be careful because I think there's an alpha that hangs out around here, a placed alpha. Yeah, there it is. There's a place Alpha Carnivine over here. Did I get spotted? Yep, you're coming over here to kill me. So let's burn this Venus Fire Trap away or miss entirely. Come on, Rosa, do your job. Burn it! Ooh, Ketchi's already at level 70. Uh... Nope, you somehow saw me behind the tree, okay. Let's run away. I was about to say, I think you love beans, if I remember correctly. So we can get into a good spot. Throw out a bean. Sneak on up. Apparently he just wants to stare at the food, not eat it. I was about to say, please tree don't get in the way. Does it not like beans? I thought it loved beans. Why did this walk up and just stared at it? Oh. Oh, did it see me? Apparently not. There you go, you're eating like a good carnivine. Let me just quickly check. No, you like mushrooms. What? Why did it clink? It wasn't attacking. And the game said, screw you, it's going to bounce off, and now it wants to murder you. In the back. What a large specimen. Hell yeah. Oop, didn't even see this carnivine. Look at my giant fox. Uh, alpha are... <laughs> If Asui and Arcanine wasn't so cool, I would so use this Alpha Ninetales as a part of my team. Alright, let's sneak up, because apparent because this area is infested with gold bats. Uh, gold bats. Gold ducks. <laughs> gold bats. How did I confuse their names? And I confuse a gold bat with a gold duck. I know the beginnings of their names sound different, but they are two completely different species. Alright, you want me dead. Come on, Alexi, your time to fight. Give it a dragon pulse. Come on, get captured! You're at low health, but I don't want to waste some of my better Pokeballs. Huh? 
Really, Gold Duck? You're really gonna make me waste my greater Pokeballs. There you go. Being a good little duck like you are. Just grab the resources here while we're at it. Let's see what this brawn sword's uh, up to. I saw Bronzo go flying in this direction all of a sudden. What in the? That Bronzor! It's wounded! This is no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. There, that should do it. Bronzor should be as fit as a fiddle now. Seems the Bronzor or, or the new campsite, I was looking for its friend the whole time. I'm glad you looked into it, otherwise we may have been too late to treat this Bronzor. The land is dangerous even for Pokemon to call it its home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore the area. I'll be sure or to keep a fine lineup of, of ware stocked for you, so please buy anything you need. <coughs> ah, and it seems the base camp has all been set up while we were talking, in which case I should get settled in as well. So long. We've set up the base. Let's go check out the new base camp. Really? Screw you, gold, uh, gold. I was gonna call it gold bat again. Gold duck. Now we can buy items that we need to, we can craft if we need to. We have everything we need. Let's put some of these items away. Do, 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 picked up so much. Ooh, shiny stone! There we go, and I think we'll end things off here, so in the next episode, we will go looking for Warden Ingo. Oh. So if you enjoyed this episode, do like the video as it helps tremendously, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts in this episode, and share the video so way more people can discover my content and help the channel grow, and I'll see you all next time. Later.